can you give us more behind the scenes of how that all actually went down that night when Jordan did go home? Yeah, I'm really glad you asked because, of course, it was crazy. No one ever expected that scenario, so we didn't have a plan for it. Mm -hmm. But as it was all happening, I was having a breakdown. I was crying, and I did call up Gabby. And I think people saw a little scene of her um, because I woke her up from, like, a deep, deep sleep to take my call. (laughs) But we definitely had a full conversation about it and just decided it was the best decision for both of us. Got it. So so just to reiterate, you like even before you did not give Jordan the rose, that was when you called her. You're like, hey, I'm not feeling it with this guy. Maybe you are. I'm thinking of sending him home. Like, where are you at? That's kind of how it went down. I think maybe maybe not so blunt, but it wasn't it it was not. It was like it. it's going into it I feel like our one-on-ones were so early that our first week one-on-ones she was you know Rachel was like I'm gonna take Jordan is that okay with you and I'm like totally like you know I I know he's here for you if you do that and then same with Nate like our early one-on-ones we knew were safe like the other person wasn't going to get upset about because they didn't feel a connection with them so Mm -hmm. it was kind of like she didn't even need to honestly check with me because one I'm going to support her no matter what and two is like oh yeah like wasn't even a thought I can Mm -hmm. understand on the watch back why people were so confused but I think our friendship like is so good and always comes first that it was just so unspoken like it wasn't even a thing 